Hey guys, this is Shane from Are You Cosplay, and today we'll be covering tips on patterning for fabrics as well as armors. So, let's check it out. First thing that you have to keep in mind is that you are translating a 2D image into a 3D object. It might not make sense at first, and you might think it's a pretty flat object on paper. And even when you do actually have it in fabric form, you still might be confused. But once you wear it, you will realize it's actually a 3D object on your body, and that's how we do it. Now you try it. So, there are millions of patterns out there online. You can either buy them or get them for free. Just make sure to get a pattern. Patterns aren't exactly something that's hard to come by, but sometimes it's hard to find the right ones. Sometimes it helps if you find a generic pattern for, let's say, a shirt, a skirt, a dress, or anything like that, and then trying to adapt it for our own purposes. It may not be perfect, but it'll get you most of the way there. And then you can be as happy as this guy. Mmm. Another tip, you may actually have some old clothes that you're not using anymore. And if that's the case, you can actually cut those up just to use them as patterns. Yo, dog, I got you. you made another one. Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. I mean, if you think about it, all of your clothing must have started from some pattern of some sort. So what you could do is try to disassemble your clothes like a Lego, and then you could figure out each piece, and there's your pattern. So, when it comes to actually patterning for armor pieces, all you have to do is make sure that there's enough room between the joints for proper movement, like this. Oh lord, Jesse made another one. Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. Or even like this. Where the goody down they saw. Moga munje ya say something. Punigi ga gom na sai. What we're trying to accomplish is not necessarily to make a second skin. What we're trying to do is almost like create a layer around your joints as if you were an action figure. If you're not able to walk, you're not able to sit, and if you're not able to sit, you're not going to be able to rest your legs. A convention can get quite tiring when you get your steps in. Also, let's be honest, half the time you'll be looking for your friends on the phone. So you're going to need access to your arms. So be sure to keep these tips in mind when you're creating your pattern that hugs your body, even if your body is a six-sided dice. So thank you once again for joining us at Are You Cosplay today. And don't forget, if you could dream it, then you can make it, then you could become it. Make sure to follow us on IG, Facebook, and right here on YouTube. And once again, thank you for joining us. Take care.